Thoughts on a, a much different, different performance from your club tonight? Yeah, I think uh, we did a little bit better job of capitalizing, uh, you know, on, on some of our chances early. The third goal, the big goal, I think, for us to to be, be able to relax a little bit. Uh, but uh, you know, I'm proud of the way the guys came out, and uh, you know, I expect them to come out and make sure they, they they keep playing. That's the way they've been all year, and they came out and put a good good effort in. And uh, you know what? It's, it's one win, and you got to start there. Ryan, was it was there anything that you guys did differently tonight, or is it just a matter of that urgency of having your backs against the wall? Yeah, no, we didn't do too much different. We, uh, you know, we really stuck to our game plan that we've been been preaching for the last uh, couple of games here, and, and really wanted to take it shift by shift tonight, and and just worry about what we can control. And, and thought we really did that well tonight. And Kevin, is it is it somewhat gratifying to be uh, rewarded for some of the hard work that you guys have been putting in this series? Uh, it's uh, it's always gratifying to get the like chances to start to pay off, but uh, it's just one game, so we gotta kind of regroup and get back to it. Steve, you've been looking for more zone time uh, in Brandon's offensive zone there. What allowed you guys to, to grind out, grind it out a little bit better tonight? Well, some decisions. I uh, thought we had a little bit more speed coming through the neutral zone, and, and we were a little more predictable with the puck coming through the neutral zone, and then you, you get onto the four check, and, and from there I thought, uh, you know, I'd, you know, we're not throwing pucks blindly in front of their net or top of the circle, kind of that crucial area not to turn the puck over. I thought we were a little better in that area. And uh, just how about uh, the difference makers stepping up, which you've been asking for? Yeah, again, our big guys were good. They're different difference makers. I thought, uh, you know, really to kick off our kick off our, our, our game though was uh, Letty here next to me and, uh, and 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 true real real big game, uh, both ends of the ice, and uh, to be able to get contributions from from those guys takes the pressure off uh, some other guys, and uh, you know you, we're gonna need everybody to chip in. And Kevin, on that first goal that you assisted on a Trues, it looked like your only play was shot. Can you kind of, it was to shoot? Can you kind of walk us through that play? It looked like a real small passing lane you had there. Uh, there, there wasn't much there, but I knew uh, I knew Trues, he has a good shot from that side, so I just tried to get it across to him, and it uh, found his way over there, and he ended up putting it in the back of the net. And Steve, Grop started out on that line with True and and Let that you mentioned. What went into the decision to kind of switch that up? Well, I thought uh, you know I, I think I gave him the one shift there. They scored right away. And uh, you know, so that that's always in the back of your head. And I I, I thought Groppy was uh, playing with a lot of good pace today. And and uh, you know, Shumi, not quite as much as he usually has been. So I mean, again, they just try to get the guys out of there going real well and get them together. And, and Steve, obviously, getting a lead is always important. But with considering the circumstances here, being down three nothing, how how important was that first goal? I think it's big. You, you know, you have a. You, little bit of a frustrated team and uh, you know everybody's believing and, and, and saying the right things but uh, you know you don't want to keep getting kicked down too much you know but you get that first you get that first goal and then the second goal I think our guys uh, relax a little bit and, and and played with a little bit more fun and a little bit more passion and, and Kevin your line's been playing really well you're creating a lot of chances you've been a little snake bit you know with the crossbar and the, the breakaway in game one uh, uh, how, how, how hard is it to stop to keep from getting frustrated and just keep playing uh, it, it's tough. I know, like, not a lot of bounces are going our lines this way, but uh, today we just stuck with it. Like Steve said, we're good in both ends of the ice, and it uh, finally paid off now. And, and Ryan, with this win, after the way the series had gone, uh, is there a sense of relief that you guys can kind of just get back to playing now? And Yeah, no, for sure. I think, um, obviously, to, to get a big win here, it's really, really good for the locker room. It really, you know, helps the confidence, things like that. But, uh, you know, take a couple hours after the game here to – to think about it, and then we're on to the next game. So it's uh, it's it's a work mentality here. Talk about team confidence, Ryan. But what about even just for yourself, for a goal scorer to get a couple goals, and especially in that fashion, like snipe fashion? What does it do for yourself? For sure, it, it definitely helps the confidence. Like I said, it it really uh, you know helps you uh, you know with your mind, I guess. And and maybe you weren't you know bearing down on chances earlier in the in the series, and you know it's nice to get a couple and, and get the ball rolling. Thanks, guys. Thanks. Thanks.